All right, let's pull some samples out of Lander Samples plugin in FL Studio. So with a lot of samples, what I like to do is mess around in the playlist. Yeah, we can use different plugins like Slicer, SliceX, but the playlist is underrated when it comes to sampling. You can chop manually just by using the razor tool, or you can get a little bit of a cheat sheet if you click the little drop down in the sample, go to chop, and you have all these options for time-based. So you don't really have to use that razor tool if you want. You can go bars, beats, half beats, or what I've been messing around with lately is going to patterns and going to drum and bass, one of these things right here, Moomba, breakdown type, and it chops it up in a way where it rearranges it in a sense of it, it might take it in a place where you would never take it and you get ideas from that so let's try drum and bass half beat and then to get smooth transitions we'll go to the old school d clicking mode and generic bleeding that way we don't have to do this crossfade this new crossfade feature is really dope but you'd have to do it on every single clip if you just go to generic bleeding it automatically throws it on there and smooths out any of the clicks and pops Let's slow the tempo down. All right, so I like this section up until about right there. I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna mess with it just a little bit more. So this is a combination of doing it manually and using that chop feature, All right? And for some reason, this sounds like this should be at the end to me, and this should start here. So do a little bit of rearranging like this. So I want some sort of brass. So I'm gonna search inside Lander Samples. This is the plugin, by the way, the plugin inside FL. I'm gonna just type in brass. So back inside Lander Samples, I'm gonna type in horn. I want some sort of horn. And we have the key set right now. It's at C major. It's already synced into the BPM, which is 134. What's this? Yeah, something like this right here. And then you just literally click and drag it right into the playlist. Fire. Hey, there we go. I'm going to take this one. Same note, I believe. Make it unique as sample. But I'm going to reverse this one. We get a nice reverse reverb out of it because that tail is just like perfect. And then we get a nice little loop on this section. Loop that up. So in Lander Samples, aside from you searching pretty much anything, it syncs up key, BPM, all that good stuff. It's on a credit-based system. They do giveaways every month. You can also do quick picks, and you can search collections. Massive, massive library. Oh, look at that, and I have my own collections pack. Let's go to this guitar. Oh. Let's transpose this sample, make it a little darker. That way the 808 hits a little harder. want to check out the lander samples plugin for yourself hit the link down in the description below and as always share this with a friend if you get me